Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today we're inside and you might be like, what in the world? Why are you doing it? What are you doing inside? There's no cars inside. Well, we have some things inside for Miss A.V. who's outside that we're going to be putting together. <laughs> Excuse you, coma man. I hope they can't smell that. Let's roll that intro. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Trevor at the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Before we roll this vlog, I want to let you guys know that you need to head over to the Arctic Vet website. So go over to arcticvet.com and you guys can pick yourself up one of these hoodies. You can save 15% on these hoodies if you use the promo code SPRING2023. We got so on these ones, these are all new. We got the Faith Family Fun going down the right side, and over on the left side, we got the YouTube, and then on the back, we got that OG Arctic Vet. I don't think I have a logo of it. Let's check the car. This happens to be AV that started Arctic Vet. We don't, we just have the, the name Arctic Vet, and I can't really show you guys my back. So, anyhow, you can get 15% off of the hoodies using spring 2023 you can get hats shirts of all kinds we have this new logos on there the new arctic vet family logos on there guys i'm super excited head over to arcticvet.com and begin shopping today and again use that promo code to get 15 percent off of hoodies it's only good for hoodies so get you one while you can because it's not going to stay there forever now let's roll this vlog all right so before we actually dive into what we're going to be doing which is going to be putting the old padding on the new Ooh, uh, interior piece the plastic what? which is it's pretty easy i don't have video over how to do that but honestly all you do is pull the staples out and then pull the cover off the top and put it back on we'll get to that in just a second First, I want to show you guys a couple Hot Wheels that we picked up. We got a uh, drift number two, drift number three. I got so I need number one of the drift set, and then I have the full set because I have number four. But this is what's really cool. We walked right over there. Oh my goodness, it has a treasure hunt symbol on it in two spots. I just realized that it's right inside the D here. Yeah, with that lighting, you guys can see it. You can always verify it down here on the card. <gasps> but it is also on the hood. So we have three of them. Cohen's looking at one, Adi's looking at one. So I have one for my set, which also is actually kind of a little packaging error because it's a lot higher, if you guys can see that. I'm glad you found the logo, good job, bub. Now let's dive into this. So just give you guys an idea, our old one, was missing all these they were like completely broken the hinge didn't work so we bought an entire new one and took the guts of it so that we can have a nice armrest which we actually are going to fix that as well with hopefully with this little kit right here we picked up at walmart but we also had to pick up a stapler so that we can staple this down and hopefully cut some of this extra out of the way make this nice and tight make it look really good we'll do that um, it's going to be a long process kind of i'm going to get a, a couple extra hands to do that maybe we could do a time lapse of it ready go so this i know the lighting's not good but this is the actual full center console piece that this one is clean good all the mounts are good they're not broken the hinge on it is good. So then we'll connect that top piece here. I'll show you guys how to do that in just a second. So this is our old one and it shows that it was made in May of 97 on the 8th by what looks like LWT. But this is what's really cool and I had no idea. That leather looks so good. So we've got an idea for this piece of leather here. They'll actually come in handy while we don't have something in the car but when we do get something in the car this will get replaced it'll get taken out and replaced so that's awesome we're going to save that for later 
but you can see that all this mounting here is just completely gone and this is what it's supposed to look like underneath of here Doo -doo -doo. It's supposed to look like that and ours on um, ours is just completely gone so we're gonna take the 2000 and use it it's much better oh yeah and that leather man I can't get it past it it's so pristine <laughs> oh goodness I can't even record <laughs> So the staples, uh, don't cut it. I gotta get some different ones. So in the meantime, we're gonna move on to the next step, which is repairing this little patch right here in the leather. So we're gonna be doing that real quick. And then we have to let this sit and cure for four to five hours. So basically tonight, it'll cure overnight. In the morning, we'll put our black color on it and then use our cool grain texture to give it the texture again and some heat. And that should look like brand new. Make this thing look good. So now we're gonna let this dry and cure for four hours. And then we'll come back and color it. All right, so now we're done with the Corvette parts. We actually have Jeep parts to do. So what we're gonna be doing is bleeding, well, not really bleeding, but preparing the master cylinder to go back into the Jeep. So we have to bleed prepare prep the master cylinder here and in order to do so you need a, some brake fluid a lot of it some plugs go inside of there so we're going to do it over this tub here and then we'll be pushing depressing this that will depress that to get the fluid to pump through and get it get it working again before we put it on the car all right so we poured some fluid in there in that back plug spot already had some coming out so I went ahead and put the plug in the cap now we're waiting for this front one to get it as well all right so now you can see it dripping there so we'll go ahead and put this second plug in and we'll keep our eye on this fluid level and we'll I'll probably fill it up to max because we're definitely going to lose some and then we'll start compressing that in all right, so now we got that filled up. Now what we're gonna do is, I was gonna hold that up and I'm just gonna compress this three quarters of an inch to one inch in. And then, hold on, I got this. <laughs> All right, so like I got saying three quarters of an inch to one inch, we'll push this guy right here in. And then we're gonna do that. We'll wait about 10, 15 seconds between each push each stroke that we do until we can only push it in about an eighth of an inch. Did I say an inch? I said an inch, right? Yeah, an eighth of an inch. <laughs> so let's begin. Woo, process, go. Now we've got this outside and we're here with the Jeep. The first thing that we're gonna do is put these lines back on and this one, which is our smaller one, will go to the back side of the master cylinder so this one we're going to take these out one at a time take that out connect that and then we'll do the front one and then we'll be able to put it back inside here hook it up and then get it connected back up over here all right there we go so now i got the cap off because we're going to want to add some more brake food and keep our eye on it i've got it connected the wire connected back in the sensor these two lines are connected that are all tightened down now it's time to grab the wrench for these two nuts one there and then one right down there it's kind of hidden right there there you go and then we'll be able to bleed the brakes and hopefully miss ruby here will have some awesome brakes av your parts are in the house they're curing soon soon Alrighty, now we got those all tightened down. Those are 13 millimeters. The fluid is looking good. I'm gonna add just a little bit more, bring it up to just about max, because next we're gonna bleed the brakes on Miss Ruby here. All the way around, bleed them. Make sure there's no air in there anywhere. Once we're sure and we're good, we'll be ready to drive again. All right, there we go. Brakes are done on Miss Ruby. Now it's time that we can go set our brakes final, our new pads and rotors. Which to do that, you got to go various stops from various speeds. 
So pretty easy, pretty simple thing to do. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this little collage of Miss AV, Miss AV the Corvette and Miss Ruby the Jeep and Cohen on the bicycle. If you guys did, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. Head over to the family vlog, the family channel, Arctic Vet Family. Subscribe there as well. As well, We're trying to reach 2,500 here for that giveaway and 1,000 on the family channel. Help us out. Share the word. We'll catch you in the next vlog. Have a blessed week. There's Adi and Riley. Oh, his chain is broke, broke. God bless you. Don't ever give up, God is here with you Yeah, You are a child, nothing but love is true Just got a fix of you, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ He came to die